number 191 in the imprint range from 1988 is Distant Thunder, starring John Lithgow and uh, Ralph Macchio. This, for me, looking at it, I had not having seen it, I thought I was getting a kind of Rambo movie, as we have uh, a veteran, uh, Mark, whom is kind of haunted by the war and the actions that he's taken and he kind of lives out in a, a forest with a couple of other veterans who just can't integrate themselves back into society. This is the kind of place for them, they're all kind of war scarred uh, and we kind of realise early on that Mark has a son, Jack, who is just uh, graduating from high school, uh, who's a little bit jaded because he's never known his father uh, and uh, Jack and Mark are estranged from each other, but they're kind of wanting to reconnect. So Mark, after seeing something tragic happen to one of the veterans, realises he doesn't want that to happen to him and takes a step back into civilization, Meeting a, a woman who is really nice to him, who finds him a job, who just talks to him, who encourages him to write to his son, who tries to get him back into uh, societal norms. And for a little while, Mark kind of attunes to this lifestyle. But the, an aggressive form uh, comes to him, as it always does in these kind of movies, uh, with that woman's suitor, boyfriend, who really sees him as a love adversary when he's not really and wants to start fight and antagonise this guy, even though he's a trained soldier, which we know how that's going to end up. And he ends up retreating back into the forest just as his son comes looking for him. And we have a story here about a father and son trying to reconnect. Now, this is directed by Rick Rosenthal, who did the um, interesting Halloween 2 and the really not interesting Halloween Resurrection, along with some other movies like uh, Ruskies, uh, Bad Boys, The Birds 2, Land's End. Uh, yep, he's got a bit of a, a career. And <laughs> this one fits into that because it feels as if it's resting on a lot of tropes and a lot of drama that's never really hammered home. It's on the surface level material here. Although I like the performances from both Ralph Macchio and John Lithgow, I don't feel that they ever get to the heart of the problem and it just feels almost hollow in that aspect of getting there. It feels like a typical story. It doesn't take any real risks. Although I expected it to go in the, go in the kind of Rambo aspect, which to be honest, I think I may have preferred and where it does go, it, it does try to get these two characters reconnect, sort out their problems and hopefully lead them on a path that's going to lead to a stronger, more stable relationship for them. There is one turn in this which makes the, the movie kind of interesting and it's the final 20 minutes when one of the Vietnam vets just kind of snaps and everybody who is at this camp is in a life or death situation because this person is deadly, they're armed, they're extremely capable and they have lost grasp, the grasp on their mental faculties um, and that creates some real tension at the end but it almost feels as if it's just there uh, as a coincidence to help strengthen the bond that was kind of breaking apart yet again. One of the characters in this I, I really did like and it's um, part of the veterans. We have a couple of veterans who's living with Mark. Uh, one is a very stoic, quiet, uh, serious man. The other one is one of those strange cookie um, kind of lost his mental grasp characters who makes quirky noises, who can go from laughing and giggling to shouting and screaming, who eats uh, a non-stop diet of sweets. And I love this character and it's borderline of being too over the top um, and not realistic enough but being extremely fun and playful and a little bit deranged that really fits the role. Uh, out of all the characters within the movie this was my kind of favourite one because although he is fractured Although he has not got a full grasp on reality, he has enough of a grasp as to know what's going on. He's not comfortable in social situations. He acts out a little bit like a child sometimes, but he pushes everybody in the right direction, which I really kind of appreciated. He was kind of the glue of the movie almost, along with Char, uh, the woman that kind of helps Mark out. I, 
I kind of liked Distant Thunder. I wouldn't say it's great, uh, a little bit over long, and I kind of lost interest at certain aspects of it. It didn't hold my attention fully, uh, partially, possibly because I was expecting a, a more action-centric movie than what I got. Uh, the one I got was kind of on the surface level drama um, and didn't really delve too much into it. We didn't see enough of the characters to, to understand why they're, they're coming together would be such a, a rewarding experience rather than just, you know, as father and son, they should be a happy family unit. I would love to know your thoughts on Distant Thunder if you've seen it. Um, whether you loved it, hated it, fell somewhere in the middle, let me know in the comment box below while you're down there. Hit the like button because it really helps these videos. There's more content up here. In the description box below are links to the Patreon membership program, manvfilm.com, always, in which you can support me. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on Man V Film.